Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back with another Let's Make a Game. Hold on. Lights. Good. Camera. Good. Okay. So, last time we left off, I was doing stuff over here with the sawmill. Mm, way over here. I think that was the last video that I did. Um, but I have added plots. Um, they do work. <laughs> There's still a lot of scripting to be done. Oh, also I uh, took the items that I've been kind of working on that are going to be shop items and check this out. I put them inside this thing called buy items, right? And there's a script inside here that as soon as I start up the game, boom, watch, you'll, you'll see that these disappear and they go over into the server storage, which the player side can't see, but we go look at the server side and right here, server storage, buy items. Is sitting there waiting for us and that has all the items that we needed but they won't be inside the world so we don't want them to be there whenever the game starts so this way i can pull stuff out over here model it around do things with it and yeah basically gives me a, a the ability to like place these later on which by the way i'm going to does this have stuff into it oh it's just got decals and stuff so Gonna take a copy of this and we're going to go into buy items artifacts axes um paste into i guess i should probably create a new folder so let's uh insert object folder and we're gonna call this um boxes because we want we want our boxes to uh exist in a world of awesome. Oh, I guess you should go in there too, shouldn't you? Um, Pre-alpha axe. That's the physical axe that you can like pick up and stuff. So yeah, let's cut that. You need to go into buy items as well. Paste into and probably inside axes. I'll probably find a better place for you here in a little bit. Ooh, the mini axe. <laughs> Not the mani axe, the mini axe. Um, let's go ahead and cut you, and we'll put you up here as well, paste into. So I got a bunch of little things like that that I need to uh, kind of consolidate. Let's grab all these, and let's go to model, move, come with me, come with me if you want to live. Can I just grab the one? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and we'll, we'll just make this like our little staging area over here. I don't know if I need to line anything up. Probably not. But if you ever wanted to know where like all the cool stuff is whenever the game first loads, it's going to be right around here. This is this is the area. But it won't be there once you actually load into the game because the script gets rid of the stuff and puts it into the server anyway. <clears throat> so um, unless you could like catch the server before it starts. Uh, next item of business um, is this thing right here. So in the side the tree manager, I was messing around with this today, and I saw that this little part right here. No, it wasn't the tree manager itself. It was the tree model. This. Um, so there was a check that I was doing to see if a uh, if a tree could actually grow at a certain point. So here, let's just uh, let's comment this portion out. And when we run this, um, I was getting this weird thing that happens over here. All right, and you can't you can't really tell with like five or ten trees, but um, I did the percentages. So um, these two should have a greater percentage than this in the overall pie chart of life. Uh, and you can think of this as a pie chart, like the whole of where it could grow any tree each part has a percentage of that so I mean that's that's how it's weighted it's a weighted thing um, I did the math on this in one of my last videos but um, when we take this number and exponentially grow it so from 10 to let's do a thousand so there's a thousand trees that are gonna grow right all of them dogwoods all of them on the same parts and we're doing that check. There's a there's a ray that I create at that point and shoot it straight up to see if uh, if a tree can grow there. Well, 
I noticed that it was sporadic. It wasn't wasn't as random as I thought it was. There was a pattern here. See how this side has like nothing on it? And this side over here has like just barely any on it. Same thing happens with the small one. Like there's just barely any there, right? And that's because of this little script right here. So what I was doing is I was placing a ray at the, uh, the point that we were checking and then looking upward, um, starting at two uh, units up and then looking upward for 10 units and checking to see if there was any parts that it would detect. I'm not going to get into collision boxes, but I found out that it was being very sporadic. It, was, it wasn't doing the pattern that I wanted. So by taking out the check like this and placing just can grow, just you're going to be true every time. Doesn't matter if there's a part there or not. It cleared it up and now we have a nice even pattern, <clears throat> which is random and it should be proportional to the amount of trees that are on each island or each piece of land. So that right there was one dilemma. With that being fixed, I then checked my uh, tree manager. Let's put this back down to one and I'm gonna go to uh, Let's do 10,000 trees on the mainland. That might crash. It may, it may crash. Who knows? That's a lot of, a lot of oak trees. Oh, don't crash. <sighs> okay. If it does crash, then I'll just, I'll come back in. Oh yeah. Something happened here. Uh, workspace land, the game script timed out. Yeah. So let's go, let's go turn that down some. Let's, let's do 5,000. We'll do half of that. Go. <laughs> By the way, coffee calms me down. With that check being gone, I now have a nice even spread across. What is that over there? Goodness me. What happened over there? Hold on. Um, let's go to code primate, humanoid, humanoid, humanoid. Give me speed. Um, walk, power, walk, 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 walk. 200. Okay, let's get over there. Let's see what's, what's going on. What in the world? Is there, is there a part there that I'm just not seeing or? What? <laughs> okay, there's some, there's some invisible part and it's no collide part. Oh gosh. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. That's cool. Anyhow, that's what uh, 5,000 trees look like. Spread out across the uh, the grasslands. So we, we probably don't need that many. But it is a nice even spread and it is random. We do have these trees that are growing inside stuff that I can't really control yet. I'll have to determine if that part is within a part. Um, like for example, we don't want to grow in on the road. That would be horrible. Like what, how, how would we drive on the road? Right. But I still want it to grow on the grass part. So I'm going to have to come up with some kind of check. And that's what I want to do tonight is try and figure out some way to figure out if there's, if it's a suitable place to grow. So, uh, speaking of which, we still have the angles wrong on the tree. Oh, um, I can actually show you how I determined that, that the tree was growing incorrectly. Uh, let's turn this down to just a hundred trees. That's fine for now. And let's go back over to my lumber. You, what are you using? You are using the C frame script. Okay. So, um, let's see. Let's turn this down to uh, zero and zero. So with a zero angle and a zero rotation, it should be a straight up, right? And let's do uh, minimum branches of 10 and maximum branches of 30. 
So it, it gives us a weird weirdness going on, right? This is how I determined that something's going on with the tree. I've got the scree the the scree tripped. No, the, the tree script is incorrect. So there's a there is an angle that keeps happening. And it's an incorrect angle. So let's change this. Um, let's go back to the C scripts. Uh, we want a minimum. Ooh, 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 control D. We want a minimum of one to three, but then I'm going to give this a hundred. Uh, no, no. Let's go do three hundred and sixty. That probably controls just the first. The the first bend. It doesn't even control the angles of the rest of the tree. So every every refresh. That could be anywhere from hundred and uh, from zero to three hundred and sixty degrees. Or Euler. Is it Euler? Euler. I keep wanting to say Euler, but it's not Euler, it's Euler. Euler's disc. Um, Euler's the one that came up with the cool rotation mathematics. Before we had like cool computers and stuff. So if I turn that back down to zero degrees and I turn this up to 360 degrees, we can now see that it's all the branches. The branches now have the ability to branch out in different directions. So <clears throat> if we take this and we make it just 180 and we do a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 30 play, and, and I, well, actually here, yeah. Uh, you'll notice that the angle is only on the X and Y axis, or the, the X axis. It's not doing it correctly. <laughs> so, <sighs> I would like to personally apologize to everyone that watched the videos previous to this, and if you did not uh, understand them, or if you didn't realize what, what was going on, um, I made big mistakes inside my mathematics, inside my, my scripts, but I tend to correct them very soon. Um, let's go ahead and put this back. Uh, what did I have? I had like 15 degrees and 180 degrees, one and three. Just gonna save that for now, get it out of the way. What did I want to do? What was I going to do? Um, detection. Detecting if a tree was growing in the correct spot. Or if it could grow here. So if I were to go, let's see. Um, under, under tree model, let's go back up here to the check. So what I'm doing right now is I'm creating a ray at the position vector. Uh, yeah, it's the the current C frame at position vector new on the Z or yeah X Y axis two and then um, Y axis ten. So the C F position plus this and the C F position plus this. So let's do this. Let's make it 10 units above and make it point back to this the position. And detected part equals game dot workspace find part check ray. Um, if we have the selected part copy. If the detected part is equal to selected planter, then can grow equals true. And then we'll take this portion out. Let's give this a test. So basically, um, all this script up here, okay, this is the script where we found the total area and then we selected um, a, um, a part based upon its weighted value. So we found the correct part, the correct spot to plant. This right here um, actually goes and places the um, 
it goes to the part, it gets the X and the Y size, it chooses a random spot on the top surface. So um, after we do the random spot on the top of the surface, we want to take a ray, put it 10 units above that surface, point it straight down and see if we, um, if we touch, uh, oh, I should probably make this minus two. Copy. So we are going to do minus vector uh, minus two. There we go. So two units below where our C frame position is, which the C frame position should be the same selected position. Um, no, it's a, the position that we calculated. So if the detected part is equal to the selected planter, then can grow here equals true. I hope that works. Or we can crash. Either way. If we crash, that's cool too. Uh, local percentage table. Game script timed out. Ooh, okay, so... Um... Why did we time out? We timed out because we never found, never found it. <clears throat> Let's do print found. Else print, um, no good. So play. Now let's watch our output. If we didn't find uh, the detected part, then it should say no good like a billion times down here. Or time out before it can actually say anything. Grass, no good. No good, no good, no good. Lots of no goods. All right, what does it look like? Did, uh, can, can we play, please? All right, let's hit stop. Let's go back over to the tree manager and let's just do 10. We'll do it for 10 times. <laughs> we might not be able to do a check for now. But I mean, I'm still working on trying to get a tree to actually grow and have a lifespan and branch out and stuff. Let's see, Victor. That's not going to work. <laughs> so let's not do array. And for now, let's just go ahead and take this out because I, I can't figure out why it's not working. If you happen to know what I can do to detect that, Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Oops, one, two. There we go. Take this out. Do, 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 do. Oh, one more. And can grow equals true. So, play. Play, play, play. And it goes straight in. Nice. Now, something unexpected tried to set the parent of the original position to null while trying to set the position. Where is this at? Right wrist. And attachment. Okay, something unexpectedly tried to set the parent of original size to null. Something doesn't say what that something was, though. got to be a script, right? So let's just do a quick search for all scripts. Script. All right, it's not the generation ball. It's not the ice script. Um, is it my axe script? New. It is not, doesn't have anything to do, do with hand. What about context? Nope. 
What's this script? That is for the things inside the store. Tree manager. It's not inside the tree manager. Resetter. Nope, not resetter. Health? Health. Regenerate. Uh, I don't really need that for Mo, do I? I mean, if they're a humanoid, then that would imply that they would have health and stuff. Hmm. But without humanoid, doesn't she like lose? Hold on. Let's uh, let's choose Mo. Clear out this. Okay. So if we delete the humanoid, delete. Does she still stay a humanoid? She does. Oh my goodness. What in the world happened there? She's still a humanoid. Nice. So we don't need animate or sounds or laser beams or any of that. Wait, are we still in play mode? No, we're not. And visualize the mouse. Oh, that's getting generated for each user, isn't it? Oh, that's funny. All right, so if we delete those, we can get rid of them. Left foot, ankles, stuff like that. Inside the head, there should be a whole bunch of sounds. We can get rid of those. She doesn't need sounds. Neck, avatar scale, model, mesh, original face. Face. I thought the is the is the face like a, a smooth add-on? I guess it is, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> She's been framed. <laughs> uh, humanoid root part we don't actually need. Or do we? Hold up. Let's play. Hit play. See what happens. I'm gonna have to trace that because I don't know which server that is or which uh, which script that is. Oh no! <laughs> She's falling apart. Her hair fell off. <laughs> oh no! Okay, let's hit stop. All right, Mo. We're gonna have to anchor everything. Okay, select children. Anything that has anchored. Oh gosh. I hope I didn't do this incorrectly. Let's do it. Control Z. Humanoid root parts. <clears throat> see if that controller. That may have been it. But no, her hair fell off. Mo, no, what happened? No. Okay. So maybe we just need to build our own NPC avatar. Is there is there a plugin for NPC creation? Uh, there's Avatar Importer. Um, let's go to manage some plugins, and let's look for find a plugin. And yes, I do have the, the tree generator by uh, Defaultio. It's out there if you want to get it. Uh, NPC. Let's see if there's anything for NPC creator. Ooh, okay. That's not really what I was looking for. There are 21 different things that we could do. Oh gosh, we're at 24 minutes. Next. Hmm. NPC stands for non-player character, meaning it's not controlled by a player. <laughs> NPC maker. Ooh. Updated three weeks ago. Let's go. Ahead, let's try it. Let's see who this is. Uh, confusing scripts. Install. Successfully installed. Good. All right, let's go back over to my lumber. Building tools by FX. HTTP service, uh, got it. Okay, let's not use that. Where's the NPC maker? Hmm. 
<laughs> Do I have to select workspace? No. I like the tree placement tool. It's pretty cool. Control Z. Boom. Tree. <laughs> Although these trees are large and in charge. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Turn off that. You guys get back over there. I wasn't done messing around. <laughs> um, what else did we do? We messed around with the scripts. I wonder if that affected the scripts at all. Control Z. Okay, I can't find NPC Maker. This is official NPC Maker. Be sure to download this if you are making NPCs, other scam NPCs. So don't download others because they can be malicious. Oh, thanks. Now you tell me. All right, can we get rid of it? Is it too late? Have I already been affected? How do I open it? Oh, man. Okay, hold on. There was, like, no reviews on this thing. There's no comments either. Um, I'm, I'm not seeing the tool up here at all. I don't see an avatar. There's an editor. Maybe if I go over to my lumber, does it add? There's team to test, exit game, models, collision groups. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There's no avatars. All right. Maybe, maybe I don't understand. Maybe I don't understand this one, but it does not seem to work. All right, post a comment. Post a comment. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and go back into my plugins manage plugins and we're going to remove that okay plugin was successfully removed let's go back into um, plugin manager and find plugins we want an NPC maker oops hold on NP oh what's this character creator oh <gasps> yes this one's been upvoted 410 times 50 no's all right, let's try it. Uh, character creator. Yes, please select a model. Uh, just any model or like something specific. Hold on. Mm, workspace plus. Let's uh, create a model. Just a MOD. There we go. All right, we'll close that, close that. New model and you may continue. Edit. Bind, edit, release, finish. Where where is it? Bind. Please select the base part. Back now. Edit. No. Release. Click to delete. Back. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is No. Okay. Ugh. Un unusable plugin. Just kidding. It's probably a really good plugin. I just don't understand it. Let's get rid of it. Goodbye. We can get rid of that model too. Uh oh. What happened? Right click. Remove. Remove. Go to my lumber. Right click. There we go. And delete. Um. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Go back over to plugins and let's go to plugin manager and find a plugin. I want an NPC creation kit. Shift to sprint, that's always fun. Character animations, those could be cool. Fortnite dances, what? Waterfall generator, fall damage generator. Ragdoll, nice. You know, update low poly terrain creator. Wedge terrains. 
It's a bunch of plugins. Maybe I should program plugins. I might understand them more. In default, your tweet generator. Um, I think that one's by default as well. Yeah, the curve cutter. <sighs> default has made a lot of things on here. Shift to sprint, name tags, NPC maker, NPC pathfinder, custom name tags. That's not hard though. Hmm. I can't believe there's only 163 pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six across for one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven up. Okay, Google. What is six times seven times 163? The answer is 6,846. Huh. So in a place where there's millions of Robloxians, only 6,846 plugins have ever been created. So that's a, that's a huge ratio. If you want to become popular, I would say create a really good plugin that does something amazing. That would be something to do. Q command utility. Ooh, streamline for building. Uh, oh, shoot. Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff that I need to do and complete and finish on here, but I mean, I don't expect this to be done within the year. So if you're if you're following and you keep asking questions like, when will it be done? When can we play? I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, for the past week, I've not really had much time to touch it. It's been crazy. All the other stuff that I've been doing. And I'm trying to squeeze in Minecraft and Lumber and everything else all at the same time. So I don't know. I, I don't have an ETA for you guys. Um, I'll continue to make cool little things inside the game and, and let you play around with like just random stuff. But um, the actual points to the game are to like make money and to cut trees and to mine stuff and to turn those that stuff into things so you could like create your own axes, upgrade your axes, stuff like that. These are all ideas, they're concepts. I have not put anything into motion. <sighs> Anyhow, thank you everyone for watching. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out. But it's really up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, there's no pressure. I love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.